For the Wii U category, I think any of the nominees could have been the game of the year for Wii U, and, and everybody would have been happy. But, but in the end, Mario Kart 8 is the one that triumphed over it. And just like in the game itself, Randy, you were leading the charge on that, and you almost always beat me in Mario Kart. You're right, this was one of the toughest, I think, in terms of the quality of the games, because we're all pretty much up there this year. I mean, obviously, you know, we'll talk a bit about Bayonetta 2 later, but right now I think Mario Kart 8 is, I think unanimously, everyone in our room decided that that was the best that Mario Kart could possibly be. You know, there was some disappointment, you know, expressed about Mario Kart 7, but 8 seemed to just bring it all back, you know, bring back everything that people loved about it. The track design, the, you know, the, the charm, the characters, uh, and the fact that it's coming out with DLC, which is a Pretty cool thing for Nintendo to do, and that DLC is is pretty awesome DLC, right? And I think the one thing that everyone kept coming back to when they talked about Mario Kart is how often they actually come back to this game, right? So like everyone else is, you know, busy, they're playing all sorts of other games, but Mario Kart 8 seemed to be that game where, you know, if they had friends over or they had a bit of downtime, they would put that on, have, have a bit of fun, and, you know, had a, always have an awesome time. I feel like it's one of those games, like you said, like with the DLC, it's gonna give it longevity. And I think it's a wonderful thing that Nintendo is establishing now with the Wii U. Like they can create these games that have a wonderful base and build on top of them. And the thing is, people are happy to come back to them even with just the base set of tracks and characters and carts. But man, like when you get new stuff, like it just it keeps reinvigorating your interests. Like when we played some of the stuff with uh, Link, you know, from Zelda. Like this is a Nintendo universe, right? And like so many people love that because it's such a well-established and well-defined place. And Mario Kart is just one of those, those avenues where Nintendo can kind of express what they do best. Kind of like Smash Brothers, but this is obviously a different genre. They did it really well. It's a fantastic racing game. And I think the elephant in the room, obviously, is Bayonetta, Bayonetta. 10. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bayonetta 2. <laughs> Bayonetta 10. Bayonetta 10. Well <laughs> okay, Bayonetta 2 is the big elephant in the room, obviously, mm. because that got a 10 from us. The very first 10 in games, what, for, I want to say, four, four years. years. Um, I mean, obviously, a lot of people will have questions as to why, you know, that didn't automatically get up there. And I think, you know, there was quite a bit of debate about that. But, you know, like, what, what did you feel Mario Kart 8 should have gotten ahead of Bayonetta? Bayonetta 2, I think, despite all of the obvious tonal problems with the game mm -hmm. it's a perfect action game but mario kart 8 just it's like the game that keeps on giving like people are going to be playing mario kart 8 uh this time next year until you know the wii u goes out of style and the wii u 2 comes out and the next mario kart comes out i feel like this game will just continue to be like it's a staple and everyone can play it it's not limited in the audience and i think that's why it sort of deserves that recognition yeah and i think just back to randy's point about you know bayonetta got a 10 that was our reviewer's decision to, you know, score that game that way, and, and we thought he argued it pretty well. But, you know, to the lot of the room, we all have our own opinions on these things. It's not just like a hive mind where we come to one decision. So for anyone wondering, I guess, maybe why we didn't just default to the game that got the 10, that's why. You know, we, we all have played some of these games, and we all see them in different ways. It's a team vote, right? It's what GameSpot feels should be, you know, like the lead for, for this platform. You know, when it came down to it, when we went around and asked people, you know, what is the game that you would recommend to someone that you, you should buy if you got a Wii U this year? Most people went down to Mario 8 and Mario Kart 8, and, and, and that's why Mario Kart 8, I think, is our deserving winner for the Wii U category this year.